Hi guys, welcome to day 13 of my Minecraft Let's Play. In today's episode, we're going to build a horse stable and talk about horses, leashes and how to tame them. And we will quickly just remove this tree because it's going to be in the way. I'd also like to show you how to build an ender chest. An ender chest is a chest that you can fill up in one location place another chest in a different location and have access to all the items in the first chest which is going to be very handy because if we have time I'd like to ride over to the Acacia village over there bringing enough items to start protecting the village plenty of problems so oh, where is that coming from? ow how did you get in there? out I don't know people got no respect for other people's property have they right I'm a bit impatient so I'm going to get rid of this manually there's not going to be an impressive stable by any means it only needs to really fit one horse at the moment we can always extend it later on I'm thinking I'm going to use oak logs, oak wood planks, maybe some spruce, a bit of cobblestone for some decoration. Uh, I want to make a hay bow and a cauldron so it looks like they've got something to eat and something to drink. Okay, problem solved. Right. Hopefully this won't take all day. I'd like it facing this way and coming just off of the house. All right. We go one, two, three, four away from the house. We go four up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I missed. Yeah, it happens. Misplaced. Right. Right. Needs to be one too high for the horse. So that should have gone along the top. when you ride in with a horse you know bang your head and take damage so, I did it again didn't I oh it's going to be one of them episodes is it one two three four right let's do this the other way Okay, there we go. Messing about that. Right. We don't want it to go too far back, do we? Well, that's all the room we've got, so it can go there. I am crouch placing these blocks so I don't fall off. So lovely job, right. Better eat if I'm gonna keep jumping off the stuff. Alright. So got some spruce wood here. Ok, 
okay you need a double fence gate to get the horse through for some reason we do a triple one just in case and then tidy up the sides um, okay let's do a crafting table then perhaps would be a good idea that's better that cobblestone wall uh, quick furnace, I might do a layer of stone bricks as well Stone. And then I think perhaps line of stone bricks. Wood slabs, one, two, two. That looks a bit stable, doesn't it? Let's repeat that on the other side. I'm purely making this up as I go along. I'm literally just throwing it together. be improved at a later date. I don't want that to come all the way down because I want to put some stone bricks around here. Oh, we're going to go out of bed. I want a creeper sneaking in and blowing everything up. And he just got up at the beginning of this episode. Takes so long to build things. I don't mind, I really enjoy building. I mean, this was supposed to be our starter house, you know, just a little house to get things going. Look what it's turned into now. It's just, it's gone epic. Well, that's normal stone, let's turn that into stone bricks. Oh. Okay. run out. I want the horse to go in here. It's nice and high. I suppose it's time to teach you how to make a hay bell and then a cauldron. Hay bells are pretty straightforward. Just fill the entire of the crafting table with wheat. Right, five hay bales. Let's decorate. Okay, here we go. One. No, I don't like it. All right. One, two, and then one on each side. That's pretty good. One, two. 
Is that it? Okay, well, scratch that then. And I'll show you how to make a cauldron. Fill it with water so it looks like it's got something to drink. I've already got a bucket of water. Oh, where's all my iron gone? Must have used it all. Let me go and grab some more. Da da, because we're not short of it. My various mining trips in between episodes. Okay, I always do that and I end up with a minecart, but what you actually have to do is a total U shape. That block there. And place cold in the ground. Bop. Bucket of water in it. Look at that. Lovely. Alright, let's go and see if them stone bricks are done. Okay. Stone. Into stone bricks. Hopefully that'll be enough. Where did we get to? need a couple of spruce trap doors on it just to break it up a little bit and some kind of roof and maybe a different type of dirt as well I think would be good not just normal dirt like there's some not too far away Is this the one not that one. Should be just over there then. I remember seeing it somewhere. I believe it's coarse dirt or pups or poots or something. We'll find out in a second. We'll add some of that. Don't need too much. My turtle farm, I've had no joy with the turtles. I've opened it up so they can escape. And then hopefully I'll get a silk touch item at some point and uh, I'll just follow them around until they actually lay some eggs. And if they've glitched out or something, because uh, that's been open for ages and they haven't moved. Don't really want to kill them. If I had a silk touch shovel. I would have been able to pick up some of that different earth around the bottom of the spruce trees. But I just want to make the barn just break the ground up a little bit. Random. Yeah, because it's coarse cool dirt, the grass won't grow back over it. Bit of cool stuff. Bit of slap in the ground. Perhaps a few bits of gravel here and there. Just purely for aesthetics. Hey! Oh, that must be a creeper hole. Stone bricks, so you might as well stop that going. 
Spruce trapdoor, spruce trapdoor, spruce slab, spruce pants, right. Try 12 for now. Make it look a bit more barn like. Torches. Only three more typical. Luckily, off the camera, I do. I pick it, I pick like certain times. It's like, what am I going to do today? Like sometimes I choose mining. never make enough stuff. I don't I didn't want to do that in case I ended up with loads, but not actually ending up with that many am I? Yeah, that's lovely. Um, we wanted some gravel, didn't we? This is where labelling your chest becomes really easy. Gravel. really have got to go back to the nether at some point because I've only got three blaze rods left. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. Right, we need to light this place up. Stairs for now and see what we can do once we're up there. Uh -huh. If we should use a normal technique or go for a slightly different one. Uh, I wonder if we could. Uh, oh, we better do it the same just so it looks nice. Free to build them wherever you want, I'm just throwing something together. Lovely 
Joplin. Try and keep it a bit in thing with what's going on over here. Might not have enough. No, well, I think sometimes when doing roofs, you should bring a crafting table up with you. Logs. No, I think we should uh, go and get some and go to bed again. I moved my bed back down from uh, up in the top because it kept glitching out every time I went to bed. Just up here. Every time I laid in it, it was bouncing through the roof and stuff. Yeah, another skeleton. And I want to know how they're getting so close. That's a zombie, but definitely. Another skeleton as well. Let's go and jump in the cauldron and put the fire out. Oh, it's already gone. Okay, what was it doing? Oh yeah, some spruce wood stairs. Should break that up a little bit. One day I might actually do a build without misplacing half the blocks. It'd be nice. Oh well, we might be lucky. Maybe we can do one row of this roof without misplacing a block. Obviously not this one. I thought we weren't going to have enough. Uh, let's get off. There's some spruce wood slabs. I want to over decorate it because it is only a barn after all. That's why I like using gravel for building because you always stand a chance of getting a flint and I've yet to manage to enchant or find an infinity bow so right now I've said that I'm not going to get any. Let's 
do anything with that side. Okay. Now, for the important part, <coughs> drop all these materials in there. I'll sort them all out off camera. Oh, can't get them all in. Oh yeah, I was going to do end the chest one as well. Okay, well, first things first. Let's show you how to make a lead in the crafting table. It's always handy when you go out adventuring to be able to tie your horse down because uh, otherwise they tend to wander off. Okay, it's quite simple. Free string, one slime ball, which you get from killing slimes. Luckily, I came across one in the abandoned mine shaft, so wasn't too bad. Uh, we haven't filled the roof in yet, either, have we? And that is totally in the wrong place. There we go. Um, I'll fill it in in a minute. Right, you need to make sure you have an empty hand when you try and tame a horse. I'm sure I saw one over here. Yeah, there we go. If you right click it with an empty hand, you'll jump on its back. Grey. I think we have the grey and white. Looks slightly better. Right click. And no hearts yet. So he's thrown us off. So we'll try again. There we go. Hearts now. Now the horse likes us. Which gives us the ability to put the saddle on it. Which I didn't bring. So time to show you the leash. Right click on the animal. And then lead it to where you're going. See we could have done this with the animals. But it's very rare that you end up with a slime ball so early on. Oh, no. Right click to tie it. I've just tied it to that post for a minute while we uh, get the saddle out. Take the lead off. Empty hand, jump on its back. See, now we've tamed it, we can get to its inventory, so we can put the saddle on so we can actually steer it. And the horse armour we found in the mine shaft to protect it. See why we made it? What if, if that was one lower, we'd bang our heads when we went in. So shift to jump off the horse. Shut it down. There we are, our very own horse. Think. I might do the same with a donkey, so we've got one of each. Or shall I do two horses and see if we can get them breeding? Um, I've got two leads, I think. I'll grab a donkey and tie it up outside. And then stick another horse in there. a bit feisty because we haven't tamed it yet. There we go, you stay there. So if we've got one more saddle for another horse. Yeah, awesome. So we've got the saddle this time so we're able to ride the next horse back. As we venture further away, we'll find different colour horses. So. It's going to kick me off in a minute if we don't get hearts. Oh, it kicks me off. Come back, jump back on. Kicks me off. Kicks me off. Oh, this one's being hard to tame, isn't it? Ah, uh, now it likes me. That all. Ride it back. As you can see, we're moving a lot faster. It won't go through one gate for some reason, you have to open two. Okay. Now oh, we got two horses. We've never bred a horse before. Let's see if this works. Uh, no. Just jumped on it. 
Um, I'll look into horse breeding on the Wikipedia. Might as well tame this donkey. Yeah, shut up. Come on. There we go, right. No, uh, in I'm sure you can put chests on a donkey or something. I don't know. They seem quite happy in there, don't they? All you need to do is fill that bit of the roof in. I was looking for. Let's try and shut the gates. Ah, it's only trouble with having three gates. Oh, it's getting dark again already. some guides. I should have done that on the other end. But let's do it shovel it's quicker. Right round to the other side. Pop that in. And we use a remaining gate a uh, remaining fence is not gates. the area. And do something about filling in that ravine because I've got a funny feeling I'm going to fall down here at some point. I'll press number one on the keyboard there just to quickly switch to my sword. As you got your numbers one to nine, whatever's in the respective slot. A bit of light here as well I might stop them appearing around there. Mm, use a shovel to make a fancy little par. In the next episode, I'm going to make the ender chest. I'll place one here, fill it up with items. I'll make another one, and we'll ride the horse over to the Acacia Village over that way. I'm on the wrong map at the moment. <laughs> Excuse me for that. I 
should be on map four. Which I don't know what I've done with. Here we are at home farm and the banner about halfway along the bottom of the map is where the acacia village is. It's just in a little green patch in the middle of the desert and that we're going to go and find in the next episode. So I think we'll call that it for this episode guys. If you found anything useful or exciting please leave a like, maybe even consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that post notification button to tell you when I release a new episode. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next episode.